Hey everybody, how you doing? And welcome to Bucket's Garage on YouTube.com. Well today, if you have one of these unit in pros with a plastic face, I'm going to show you today what is a common problem with these radios. Uh, if you ever have a problem with the radio where you can't transmit and you check the mic, it's not the microphone, it doesn't receive, you know, same thing, it's not in the microphone. Well, I'm going to show you today on this radio right here what the problem is. We're going to go through it and check it all out. So, and let's get started. Let's see what's wrong with this puppy. I should probably turn that radio down. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. All right, let's pull this cover off and see what we got going on inside. I always start with the bottom cover first. Alright, let's just see here. The reveal. Alrighty. Alright, visually looking at the board. The board looks pretty good. So what I think is the problem here, well, first, we're gonna just connect the speaker. Now, what I like to do, because there is a positive and negative for the speaker, do a little zoom here for you. That says negative right here in the speaker. Then you can see there's a positive. So I take a black marker, just mark it that wire. Yeah, if you want, you can even mark it on the speaker. Take yourself a red pen, mark that wire, red, and red on that side of the speaker. But if you do lose your place, let's get these disconnected first. And, oh, oh, there you go. Okay. Now, let's say you did take this all apart. Pay attention where your wire goes in. The one wire is to the back, and the other one's towards your speaker jack. Well, the one wire coming in is right here. Get in frame. Right here. Now, you see all this green? Your green lawn everywhere. The wider spaces, the empty spaces. More likely that's gonna be your ground, because that's your ground side. Ground's here, here, throughout the board. The wider spaces are ground. So that one's gonna be your ground. Your other wire coming in is right here. You can see for here, as I marked it as positive. This one here's your positive. It's isolated between here, small space. So that's gonna be your positive side of the speaker to the speaker jack in the back. In case you lose your spot, if you want to do it that way as well. Okay. Let's get a little zoom out here. All right, well, yep, just as I thought. Now what happens a lot of these radios, they're built kind of cheap. And uh, you, where your microphone plug is, you could hit it with your knee. You're pulling on it when you're Yank it on the mic, it gets pulled. It's only plastic surrounding this, and then you got a board on the inside. So what happens is, there's a soft board. Now I'm gonna have to zoom in on this bugger so you can see what I'm talking about. All right. Get a pointer here. Yeah, right. Yeah, that pointer's got junk on it. All right, so, let me get this wire out of the way. All right, as you can see here, when the microphone goes onto the board, the traces are broke. That one, that trace there is broken. Yeah, that one's ripped off the board as well. The only one, 
looks like it's still intact is this one here going down to really thin wire off that board so definitely that one's broke that one's broke and that's from pushing it in or stretching now in the back side of the board these are your microphone connectors here this board's only soldered onto the board so those could break very easily as well but you got one two three four and i'm going to show you what to do here put jumper leads to the microphone so what we're going to do is, since we really don't have any good spaces except for that one hole there, you could get one wire through there, I'm going to drill a hole into the board. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm drilling into the board right here. Because on the other side of the board, you only have these traces going along here. So I should be able to drill a hole right here. I'm going to double check it by taking my light. And you guys can see right through it. So I should be able to. That is just a ground on the other side, that green patch of grass. I'm going to drill the hole right here. It should not affect it. As long as I'm not going into the smaller traces over here, over here, I might be able to get away with it right there. So let's give that a shot. All right. Got my handy-dandy drill going on here. I think my light just died on me. Hmm, let's get another one out here. All right. So I know I'm going to drill it right about there. Don't get your finger in there. It doesn't take much effort to drill through that. Whew. Any closer than I could have got into that line there. Man, that was close. Super close. I could have moved over just a little bit more. Let me double check that. Yeah, that was right at the edge. So anyway, I'm going to drill that hole just a little bit bigger. Let's move it over just a bit. I'll clean that up just a little bit, as you can see. That's where I drill the hole for the wires to come through. And I didn't hurt it. All right, let's get some wire and wire this up. Okay, so what I did here is I went and got a parts radio. And I see I got myself a white, black, kind of like what speaker wires would look like. It's about the same colors. Red, you know, like red transmit, black receive, white audio, and blue would be ground, your shield. So what I'm going to do is strip these, get them ready to solder. I'm going to solder these on two, and I'll show you when I'm done. I'm going to solder them onto here. All four of them are actually all ripped off the board. So what I'm going to do is make sure they're not shorting out and uh, solder those to the board and go from there. Okay, as I'm soldering along here, I didn't do it to the other two yet. But I made a little circle with the wire because as I was heating those up, those things just came right off. So I used the soldering desolderer sucked that old green broken board off and their studs were sticking out so i'm just going to make a little circle and solder those on like that i got the wire started going through the bottom of the board or through the top of the board and now i'm going to go to the bottom and uh, do some soldering at the bottom get them hooked up i've got the wires coming through They've been soldered onto the board. 
Now a quick note. If you look on the inside here and you see those two bottom, you might get kind of confused. Well, you see the one coming down. This one here jumps across to here, which is your last lead underneath. So, so this one here is jumping across. That's a jumper on the other side of that board, which is the blue lead. That's your last one. The blue connected there. Well, I hooked it all up. Get real mess going on here. All right, let's turn this sucker on and see if we get some sound. Holy buckets, look at that. Hello, Skip Land, Skip Land. 21, 21 in the Buckeye. Okay. So that definitely was a problem. And that seems to be working good. Well, you know, hopefully that helps you out if you just got a cheap old CB you want to get going again. Well, She's working. Holy buckets. Yeah, buddy, this thing's working. Yep. Thanks a lot. Anyhow, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. There's be more videos out of this and other stuff this year. So, anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching. So, anyway, thanks for watching Buckets Garage. We'll talk to you guys again soon. Let's see some channel six words here. Yeah, it's working. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, well, I got more things to fix. See you guys.